welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I've been on YouTube. So much has happened since my last video. So I figured we could chat, put some makeup on. I could catch you up on all the fun things that have been going on. It's the new year. And while a lot of people are doing new beauty routines, new makeup routines, I'm just gonna show y'all what I've been putting on my face when I even wear makeup. Guys, I have not worn makeup in so long. Without further ado, make sure you grab something to drink. I've got some hot coffee. It's actually like really cold here, which is nice. And so I'm enjoying a hot coffee. I've got all my makeup. And so you can grab your makeup too if you wanna do your makeup with me. And let's just get into this. Let's get into the details, into where I've been, what I've been doing, and what makeup I've been wearing. All right, so I literally have nothing on my face except for skincare. So I'm gonna take y'all through the whole routine. I also have my heater on. So if you can hear like a buzzing or something, it is what it is. Like y'all know if you've been around for a long time, my YouTube is very chill. We don't do the full production like we used to and i like it that way i like this very casual like you're here getting ready with me we're doing our makeup together we're having some girl chat yes we moved we still live in texas we moved out to the country it is absolutely gorgeous here i will insert some footage of just the surrounding land a little bit of our property i like to keep a lot of excuse you hilda hilda is here of course um, but I like to keep a lot of this stuff private um, and so but I'll still share a little sneak peek of What I get to look at every day. Oh my gosh, Chris and I have been wanting to own land um, Ever since we were dating. I've always 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 wanted to own land I just never knew the avenue that it would take to get there and I never knew at what point in life we wanted to actually move out here. And now that we homeschool the kids, we own our own business. Why not? You know, I just love that my boys get to be raised outside and they get to play and be boys and get dirty. And it's just so nice. So anyway, we moved. It's been amazing. And that's where I've been. And things have been chaotic. And I truly feel like this property is designed for us like God specifically chose this property, this home, just everything about this just for us. It feels like the perfect fit. I've never felt quite at home as I do now. And we've owned multiple houses in the past. And this is the first house that I've just truly felt like this is it. Like this is where I want to live my life, live out the rest of my life with my kids. Not to say we wouldn't mind buying other property and other land because we just love it. This is where I literally want to just live and die. I am just so happy, we love it here. And yeah, it's just been so amazing. So let's go and get into a little bit of makeup. I do have my skincare on. I've been sharing more of my skincare routine on my Instagram. So if you want to see kind of what products I'm using, I'm testing out quite a bit. So um, when I kind of solidify a really good routine, maybe I'll do a YouTube video on it. Um, but yeah, I've just been posting little things on Instagram. So if you don't follow me, definitely do that. I haven't even done my brows, guys. Like we, we got to do brows. I've got to put something on my brows. So I'm going to take my favorite Tude Turn It On Soap Brows. Um, I've been using this every single day. It's my favorite brow product. You can, of course, just use soap or um, any kind of glycerin soap works just fine. But I saw this at my local Credo several months back and I just wanted to try it. So I just got this little spray bottle of water and then I just take my spoolie. The spoolie is so crusty dusty, but I feel like that's why it works the best. And then I go against the hairs, really fluff them, push them up. And I use the Babe Brow Serum. I always get a lot of comments on my brows. So I will link that down below. It is absolutely the best brow serum I've ever used. It actually works. And if you can hear a little bell, it's my cat. She has a little bell on her collar and she's hanging out with me while the boys are outside. I can see the kids, There's we have a huge fire pit and I can see them building a fire with Chris and it's just so nice. Like I literally feel like I live in a Hallmark movie, guys. I'm not even kidding. Uh, we live in a very, very, very small town and when we do need to go 
into town. We actually have to go to the neighboring town. And guys, it I'm not even kidding. It's straight out of a Hallmark movie. Every single little town with like the cute little shops that are family owned, the music playing in the streets, like it's, you know, over Christmas time, like they were playing all the Christmas music. And it's, it's everything you would imagine that's in a Hallmark movie town. I'm no exaggeration. It is one of the most beautiful, quaint, cute towns. Um, but yeah, it's actually the town neighboring us because our, our little town is so small. Um, there's not a lot here. All right, so I always like to just, they look kind of crazy and that's okay. I like to let those sit and this may be a long video. I'm sorry. I'm like, haven't, I feel like I haven't talked in front of the camera in so long and I feel like I'm just going to blab. Um, so I'm sorry if this video is long, but I like to run through that with a clean spoolie. I'm going to let that sit while we prep the skin and then we'll come back to the brows in a little bit. So to prep the skin, I'm gonna take my favorite Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I love this, I've been using this for years. Actually, I'll zoom y'all in too, sorry. I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I haven't done this in so long, <laughs> um, but I love this. I use this in my skincare routine as well. I just kind of spray it throughout the day because it's just it's so refreshing. It's like a spa in a bottle. And then this is a moisturizer that I've been using recently and I really, really like it. So I just wanted to mention it. It's the Rose Ink Hydration Replenish Micro Encapsulated Moisturizer. Um, I've always wanted to try this. Hilda has got the zoomies over here. So she is just having a blast. Um, but I've been trying this out for the past week and I really like it. I don't know if I really consider it a favorite, but it's the moisturizer that I want to use today. Um, I did already apply moisturizer really early this morning, but it's been several hours. So I'm gonna reapply some moisturizer. And then before we move on to the rest of the makeup, I did wanna mention some hair products that are absolute favorites. Like I am immediately going to repurchase these as soon as I run out, probably before I run out because I don't wanna be without them. But this brand, Anna Blue, um, they only have a few products in their line, but I love their, their hair serum and their treatment oil. I use this every single time that I wash my hair. After I get out of the shower, I put this on towel dried hair. It makes my hair feel and look incredible. I had never heard of this brand. They sent me a few products in PR and I'm obsessed. So yeah, I love those. I cannot not have those. It has completely transformed my hair. And then another product that I really, really like is from the brand Color Wow. It's their Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish Frizz Control and UV Protectant. And I had never tried this brand. I actually purchased a few products from the brand and this is the one product that really stood out to me. And I'm actually gonna apply a little bit right now to my ends because they're feeling a little bit just lackluster. It's just like a clear gel and it actually has shimmer in it which I think actually does make your hair just look really shiny and pretty. So I'm just gonna concentrate this kind of at the ends and then... All right, got my damp beauty sponge. I always forget to do that. Still trying to figure out my little beauty space here. I have this amazing table. I bought this in our Prosper home and I love it, and I'm, but I'm still trying to kind of figure out my setup here. So forgive me, just give me a little bit of time to figure this out. Love my NYX brow pin, so I'm just gonna use that. Most days I am not putting a stitch of makeup on, I'm just doing skincare, SPF, lip balm, and that's it. Just putting a ton of oils in my hair, putting it up in a bun, and it's just been so nice. Just this easy, slow paced, day to day. The kids um, are out of school still, so we haven't had to do homeschool. I don't know how I ever lived a different lifestyle. Like this is just, it's paradise. And it's so cool. Like our neighbors came over, introduced themselves. They were so sweet. They actually had to drive to our property because we live so far away and they own like 22 acres. They own a ton of land. They have their own gun range. They have a ton of dogs and cows and it's just so cool. We actually kind of live in this, I wouldn't say like cul-de-sac because it's a lot of land, but we live in like this kind of big, like 
circle, I guess, and all the people around here are so nice and the land is just so beautiful. And it's just like this nice little community and everyone's just been so sweet. I, when I tell you it's everything you can imagine about living in a small town where the people are just so incredibly nice and kind and offer to help you with anything. And oh, it's, I'm just living out my dreams right now. Excuse me if I'm just a little like up in the clouds, but I'm seriously like, I'm just so happy right now. Um, all right, so Euphoria pregame primer. You can tell she is well loved. I already have a backup because I absolutely love this primer. I am not a primer person, but this is one that I actually just truly enjoy. It doesn't prolong the wear of my makeup, but it just provides a nice moisturizing base, but it also has like a nice slip to it. And I feel like it gives um, some smoothing qualities to the skin. Um, again, this is coming from someone who has never cared for primers, but this one, oh man. Some days I'll just mix this in with some bronzing drops and kind of make a tinted moisturizer. Um, this is oftentimes the last step of my skincare routine. I won't wear any makeup, I'll just wear this primer. Okay, so for my base, when I'm actually wearing foundation, I very rarely wear foundation. But when I do, there are two actual foundations that I really enjoy. And then I'm also gonna talk about something that I like to mix in with my moisturizer or my SPF to kind of make a tinted moisturizer. So that's my Armani Luminous Silk uh, Glow Liquid Bronzing Drops. These are really hard to find. They were at Sephora and then they removed them. I think you can get these at Neiman Marcus. You can get them on the Armani website. I don't know about Nordstrom, but these are so good. If you can get your hands on them, I have all three shades. The one I'm using right now is the shade 90. It's the lightest, but this is incredible. You can mix it with anything and it just gives it a little bit of tint and it dries down to a nice kind of satin matte finish so it's not oily or greasy. My two actual foundations that I love, I was trying to pick between the two and I don't know, there's just something so beautiful and magical about both of these, so I'm going to mention both of them. You do not need both of them. Uh, but the first is the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. I know everyone and their mother has been talking about this. She had a huge moment when she was launched and the hype is real. It's such a good skin tint. It's not oily, it's not greasy, it doesn't slide or move around on the face. It stays put, it looks like skin. It just has the most beautiful natural finish where it's not gonna make you look like a grease ball like a lot of skin tints. It's so good. The perfect amount of coverage, you can build it up slightly. It's just a beautiful product. And then my other one is my Shantikai Future Skin Gel Foundation. I absolutely love this. It is so stupid expensive. If I could recommend one foundation, it would be this one. She is so bougie, but I use this all the time and I still have so much product left. You do not need a lot. It's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I cannot say enough good things about this. So I use this all the time on Instagram. So I'm actually gonna use the Hourglass one today. I honestly haven't even tried a drugstore foundation in so long. So I wouldn't even know like what to recommend from the drugstore. Um, I'm just not buying makeup to be totally honest. So I don't have any drugstore foundation or more affordable foundation recommendations. These are the only two. But so yeah, a little bit more. And then I'm taking in all my favorite smoothing face brush from Bare Minerals. So good. All right guys, I promise this will get better. I just, I am haven't done this in a while. <laughs> and then what I will do is take a damp sponge and just go across my entire face and just pick up any excess product that may be sitting on the skin because I like very minimal makeup these days. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing makeup when I'm even wearing makeup. All right, so for concealer, the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener is just forever gonna be my favorite under eye concealer. It's very minimal coverage, so if you've got a lot of things that you need to tackle for your under eyes, I would say maybe skip this one or pair it with another concealer. But for me, this is just absolute perfection, especially on days 
when I want to look just a little bit more put together, but I don't wanna do the full makeup routine, I'll just do my skincare routine, some SPF, and then take a little bit of this on my under eyes, and it's just, it's perfect. If you are a carpool parent, this is going to be your best friend. It doesn't settle into fine lines. And then when I have spots or I want more coverage, my favorite Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This has been my favorite for a really long time. So we're gonna use this to tackle this ugly guy right here. Don't use a lot of that. And then this is the Rose Ink Concealer Brush. That's what I've been using. I love this brush for concealer. So I'll first go over with a brush. And then I'll go back in with my sponge and blend it all in and make sure there's not a ton of product sitting on the skin. But yeah, that's the base. Super easy. I can do this routine in just a few minutes and it does everything I need it to do. So I don't wear this every day, but when I do want some cream bronzer, my go-to already just died. Ugh, I'm telling y'all I'm talking way too much. All right, so like I was saying, when I do wear cream bronzer, my go-to is the Rose Ink Cream Bronzer. I don't wear cream bronzer too often. Um, this is definitely more of like a glam product, but I figured I'd go and apply it and show you today. And then the Persona Conceal and Base Brush, hands down my absolute favorite. I just take a tiny bit across the cheeks, a little on the lids, forehead, nose, and that's it. Super quick and easy. It's a nice matte finish, which I like, so it's not gonna slip and slide around. It really sets down and you don't have to powder it if you don't want to. So for powder, my Ben Nye Media Pro powder palette is just my go-to. I'm not wearing powder that much either, but when I am, this guy is it. So I love this rose petal shade, as you can tell. This is my favorite under eye powder. Not wearing much powder these days. And then some days I'll take this shade. This is uh, 006. Um, it's a nice matte powder shade, but I use it as bronzer. But my favorite bronzer, hands down, is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Give Me Sun. She's my absolute favorite. So I usually just kind of go over top on this hourglass brush, another favorite. And just sweep that across my whole face. And this has a nice bit of sheen to it. It's not shimmery or glittery, but it has a nice natural sheen to it. So I like pairing it with the matte cream bronzer. All right, so I actually have a, f <laughs> a few blushes, which is kind of crazy, but I just, I truly rotate through all three of these. I'm trying to reach it. Um, my favorite is the Bare Minerals Blonzer in Kiss of Copper. I finally got a new one because my other one was so janky. I love this for when I'm not wearing bronzer, blush, or highlight. Like, I just want an all-in-one product. I can sweep across my face, and I don't have a lot of time to do any of the other steps. This is just my all-in-one, so that's how I like to use this. When I want a more matte blush and I am doing kind of the full routine with the bronzer and everything, I love this blush. This is the Blush Color Infusion from Laura Mercier in the shade Chai. I love this shade on my skin tone. It's a nice matte finish, which I tend to prefer matte blushes. It is so beautiful. It's just one that I can slap on. I don't have to think about it. I'm just using the other end of that hourglass brush. A little in the eye socket. It's just a nice muted blush for my skin tone. Now if I want cream blush, um, this is usually when I want to just kind of throw a little bit of color on my cheeks and my lips. I love the uh, rose ink lip and cheek color in the shade Azalea. This is such a beautiful, beautiful shade. And I love taking this on the cheek, on the lips. Here, I'll do a little bit on the lips. And this is something that I can just throw in my bag and touch up throughout the day. And then I don't wear highlight too often, but when I do, this has quickly become my favorite highlighter. It's the Bare Minerals Highlighting Blush in the shade Peach Glow. She is so soft and silky and smooth. It, it's a lot like the bronzer formula. It's so creamy and I love the shade and it doesn't look like highlighter on the skin. Like it just looks like this lit from within glow. 
I like taking it on the Blooming Blush Brush from Bare Minerals. I'll just take a tiny bit, just apply it in this little outer corner. A little bit on the eyes. I always take my face products on my eyes because I don't really wear eyeshadow. That is the complexion. This, again, is a lot more elevated than what I am doing from day to day, but these are just all my favorite products. They wear really well, they look beautiful. And then I'll just go in with a little bit of my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Just give that a good little mist. Now, it's just an honorable mention. I did want to mention this one palette that I use actually quite often because I love the blush and the highlighter in here. But this is the Florasis Flowery Makeup Relief Palette. I don't really understand the name. But first of all, the packaging is gorgeous. And this is what the inside looks like. You have a shimmery highlight, a matte highlight, a kind of a nice contour shade, and then a blush shade. And I really, really like this. If I am wanting something just kind of all in one. I just want to pull out one product that has everything. This is a go-to of mine. It's so pretty, um, but I just wanted to give it a little shout out because I do use this quite a bit. It's in my vanity, I have it ready to go. So if I want to use it, it's just right here. But I just want to throw that out there. That's such a good palette. I've actually enjoyed everything that I've tried from this brand. I've tried their cleansing oil. I have an eyeshadow palette from them that I'll talk about in just a little bit. It is gorgeous. Their liquid lips are beautiful. Like they don't make a bad product. I have not tried one thing that I don't like. So really great brand. And that is a really nice little kind of all in one face palette. All right, so like I mentioned, I don't wear a lot on the eyes, but I do wanna mention just a few of my favorite eye products when I am wearing something on the eyes. Um, the first being the Shantikai Mermaid Eye Colors. I always talk about these in my favorites videos. They're just, oh, it's such a cool formula. It's like a powder, a creamy powder. Um, and they're sheer, but they're not like too sheer where it's like, do you even have anything on your eyes? Is it even worth applying? Like these are really, really beautifully, beautifully made eyeshadows. My favorite shade is Starfish. It's this gorgeous kind of taupey, slightly purpley bronzy shade. I love this. And then Sylvie is a really pretty kind of more matte tan shade. And these are just my two go-to shades. If I just wanna slap something on the eyes, these are the perfect one and done eyeshadows. So if you are wanting to try things from Shantikai, I know they're a very expensive brand. They have quite a few sales throughout the year. So um, always be on the lookout for when I post about their sales because their sales are really good. But their foundation and the mermaid eye colors, I cannot say enough good things. So maybe we'll play a little bit with those today. And then like I mentioned earlier, the uh, Florasis eyeshadow palette in Phoenix, I think is what it's called, or S Soaring Sunlight. It might be Soaring Sunlight. This is what the packaging looks like, beautiful. And then this is what the inside looks like. While it does have these pops of color in there, it's actually a very nice wearable everyday neutral palette. And then you have some room to play in here. I just, I think this palette is brilliant. The texture of these is so good. It's like a gel powder formula. It's amazing, amazing. So maybe we'll throw a little bit of this on the eyes as well. Every time I use this, I'm like, this quality is on another level. And this brand is really not that expensive. They are definitely on the higher end side, but compared to Natasha Denona eyeshadows, Pat McGrath eyeshadows, like these are not at that price point. They are definitely more reasonable in my opinion. I just think the quality is so good on these that it's worth the price. So I'm gonna take Starfish from Shantikai and I'm just gonna slap this all over my lid. Just kind of use this as the main tone for the look. I mean, these are truly one and done. Use your finger, throw it on the eyelids. Let's zoom you on. All right, I'm gonna take this kind of lighter tan shade in the palette and just use that to soften the starfish shade. I'm also gonna take that tan shade on my lower lash line. Just a really simple, easy look. 
anyone can do this. And my favorite eyeliner is the MAC Costa Riche. This is so beautiful. I'm so late to this game. Never owned this color before until recently, and I'm obsessed. It's this beautiful reddish brown, which I think is just so flattering on any eye color. I just take a tiny bit of that on the outer corner. Take a little Mario E5, just soften that up, and then just Whatever's left over on the brush, I like to bring it out a bit and then pull it out towards my brow for a little bit of a winged shape. All of my favorite makeup products are user-friendly. Nothing is gonna be something that you have to work with or sit and blend forever. Like everything is just super easy, mom-friendly, beginner-friendly. You need to do your makeup, but maybe you don't have a lot of time or maybe you just don't have a lot of experience playing with makeup. That's totally fine. These products will help you. So that's Costa Riche. And then I'm gonna go in with this dark purple. Let's do a little bit of color. Sometimes I'll go in with this dark brown, but today I'm gonna do this dark purple since we've got starfish on the lid. Kind of play with the purple tones. Just go right over top that liner. Now, if I really wanted to play up the color, I would go in with this shimmery shade. It is so beautiful. These shimmer glitter shades are on another level. They feel almost wet. They're so beautiful. But for today, I'm gonna take this shade. That's what it looks like. Camera does not do it justice. I'm just gonna pop that right on top and then my favorite mascara is the elf lash and roll i love this it's in the brown color uh deep brown this is so good if you love tower 28's mascara this is a much more affordable option i love the tower 28 mascara but if we're just trying to save some money like i'll just go out and buy this one there's no need to buy the tower 28 one what the wand looks like. It has a little bit of a curve to it, but it's kind of that like spiky rubber wand. It's just great for length separation. Nice fluffy light volume. It's really well in the lower lashes. Yeah, that's the mascara of the moment. I love this mascara so much. It is so good. I've never, I haven't tried the black or anything. I just love the brown for every day. The formula is amazing. So just all in all, fantastic mascara from the drugstore. All right, so for lip products, I have a lot because it just depends on the day and I have just different moods when it comes to lips. Sometimes I want a glossy lip, sometimes I want more of a balmy moisturizing lip, sometimes I just want a matte lip or a lip stain. So I have quite a few. Um, the e.l.f. lip stains are the best lip product I think I've ever tried from the drugstore. My favorite shade is Power Mauve. Um, it's just a nice kind of pinky nude, but these are amazing. The way that I like to use them is I apply them, I'll do my whole makeup routine and then remove them and it leaves this gorgeous long wearing stain. These are fantastic from the drugstore. Um, if you like lip stains, also the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils are so good. They're definitely more on the pricier side in comparison to the e.l.f. ones, but if you just really like Rare Beauty and um, her shade selection is also, I feel like a little bit better. Um, these are incredible as well. I use these a lot on Instagram, so if you wanna know how they apply and how I use them, definitely check out my Instagram. But that one's really good. My favorite shade is Affection. Yeah, Affection. It's this gorgeous, whoops. It's this gorgeous berry wine stain. It's so pretty. And then Elevate Beauty Lip Products. Their, uh, her matte liquid lips are incredible. My favorite shade is Faith Over Fear but these are super matte, but they're not drying. It's a really great formula. I also love her gloss in the shade Set Apart. Beautiful, beautiful formula. And I just love the brand as a whole. And then if you like more of a lip balm kind of product, the Naturium Phyto, Phyto Glow Lip Balms. I think I have every single shade. I love these. She actually just came out with a bunch of like brown colors, which are really pretty. I don't reach for those as much. I actually like her more bright colors, um, but these are amazing. The color is quite sheer, which I like. It's not like a lipstick, 
The formula is so good. It's really thick. It's like a lip mask, but it's got the shine. Um, this is the shade Clear, and I've used this up completely. I need to buy another one because I love this. This is like my everyday go-to lip balm. It is so good. Buy these over the road peptide lip treatment. I have all the road ones. These are so much better. They're more affordable. The formula is above and beyond better than the road ones. So don't buy the road ones, buy the Naturium ones. They're so much better. And then uh, lip liners. I just kind of rotate through my same ones. Tower 28 uh, Multi Liner is my absolute favorite. Work of Art is my favorite shade, as you can tell. I need to get a new one. This is my second one. Um, but I also love Fill Me In. I really hope they expand their shade range. They only have three shades. Um, but I love this formula. It's so good. And then just my staple kind of MAC ones that I always rotate through. Strip Down. It's a nice kind of brownie nude. Oak is a really good one too. Oak and Strip Down are very similar. You don't need both of them. This is Oak. Another nice brownie nude. I also love Spice when I want something more punchy. And then Soar is a really pretty kind of more berry tone. So maybe we'll do Soar today. Kind of feeling it. But yeah, I love MAC lip pencils. They're, they'll just always be my favorite. But I always apply it and then I take my finger, soften the edges. And I like the MAC lip pencils because I can do like a very strong lip, but I, I can also do a very soft lip. They're just really versatile for every day. Oh, and I cannot believe I forgot to mention this. Another one of my favorite lipsticks is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine Lipstick. Is it this shade? Which one is it? 150. I also love the shade 44. Um, this is a little too nude for me sometimes, like too pinky nude. But that's a really pretty color, but the shade 150 is my favorite, so I'll do that today. But these are so beautiful. You don't have to spend money on these. YSL and L'Oreal, L'Oreal owns YSL. So I, I know a lot of their lip products are very similar to the YSL uh, formula. And actually, I really want to test this out. I wanna go to the drugstore, buy some L'Oreal lipsticks and see if I can find some dupes for the Rouge Volup Shine. Also the Candy Glaze lipsticks from YSL. I wanna find dupes from L'Oreal because I'm pretty sure they're all made in the same factory. I am speaking completely out of assumption, but I'm pretty sure like it's all the same thing. So anyway, I really wanna to go to the drugstore and kind of dive down that rabbit hole, but yeah. For now, this is just kind of a go-to for me. It's a nice, creamy, slightly shiny formula. Has a nice bit of color, but it's nothing too punchy. And then I'll take a little bit of this Elevate Gloss and set apart. A really nice cushiony, just yummy, yummy gel gloss. It's really pretty. All right, guys, so that completes this video. It was so nice being back here chatting with y'all, catching up, putting some makeup on. I will try and film when I can. I just don't have a lot of time right now, but hopefully before the kids start school again, I can maybe get up another video. I don't know, we'll kind of see. It's hard to have the time to myself to sit down and film, but definitely follow me on Instagram. If you don't, I film on there all the time. It's just a lot more convenient for me and my kids can be kind of loud in the background and I don't have to worry about the sound and everything. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I will have everything that I used linked down below. I have a corresponding shop my shelf link where I'll have discount codes, everything you need to know about all the products that I use today. So um, I always do that with everything that I post, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I always have a corresponding shop my shelf link where I have all the products listed, any discount codes that I have with any of the brands. And you just click that link, it takes you straight to the product. It's just super easy and it kind of consolidates everything in one nice little gift wrapped package. So I hope that is helpful for y'all. So if you're ever wondering what I'm using, always check my shop my shelf i always put everything on there but thank y'all so much for being here today as always i'm sorry for the long break but we just had so much going on and i'm just so happy to be here to be filming again to hang out with y'all and to kind of get back into the makeup routine again i i feel like now that we're here 
it's just, there's this peacefulness, there's this quietness. And even though I am homeschooling the kids and we're busy with everything here, I feel like there's also this sense of more time because we're not just being busy for the sake of being busy. Like everything is just so slow and nice and peaceful here. So hopefully I'll have more time to touch base with y'all and film more videos. But thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I missed you so much. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.